This is the World Report of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, April 2022. Coming up, Rebuilding History, Piece by Piece, the original Book of Mormon manuscript is published like it's never been seen before. And after three years of extensive work, we'll take you inside the newly renovated Mesa, Arizona Temple. Welcome to Roots Tech 2022 by Family Search. I'm Nadia. And I'm Matthew. We For the second year in a row in a virtual format, Roots Tech 2022, sponsored by Family Search, recently finished its three day worldwide conference in early March, reaching more than a million people. We greet you today from the extravagant city of Rio de Janeiro. Family Discovery Day was the crowning event on the final day, hosted by Elder Ulysses Suarez of the Twelve and his wife Rosanna, telling the heartwarming stories of how they met, married, and raised a family in Brazil. The first Latter day temple built in South America was also in Sao Paulo. And even when we started our own family with our three children, we visited my family every Sunday. We cooked together, shared a meal together, and spent hours and hours together in love and support for one another. I think music is just part of our DNA. A light for everyone. The theme of this year's cultural celebration, Luz de las Naciones, Light of the Nations, focused on finding joy and hope in times of trial and difficulty. Featuring a cast of hundreds of volunteers, the night featured traditional and modern song, dance, and stories reflecting cultures from countries throughout Latin America. We wanted to share the feeling of Luz de las Naciones, that we can still shine no matter what, that nothing is going to stop us. This manuscript is as if going back in time and reading Paul's epistles. Historian Dr. Robin Scott Jensen holds one of the most important and sacred documents for church members. These are the original pages of the Book of Mormon manuscript. It's a key piece of scripture for members of the faith, translated by Joseph Smith, founder and first president of the church. While the Book of Mormon has been in circulation since 1830, this original manuscript is now available to anyone who desires to see it. Nephi obtains the records. This is of Nephi going back to Jerusalem to obtain the brass plates. The majority of the document's pages were damaged by water in the 19th century while it was stored inside the cornerstone of the Nauvoo House. After Smith's martyrdom, the manuscript was scattered. Smith's widow, Emma Smith, remarried, and her second husband gave portions of it away to visitors in Nauvoo. But over time, historians started the painstaking process of gathering and putting the pages back together. New multispectral imaging reveals the faintest markings compared to the same images photographed with 1950s technology. There are pages where it's dramatically improved, where you can read the text, whereas before you couldn't. We think, well, it would be so cool if everybody could come look at the actual artifact. Our feeling is that what we present in the book, it will be an, an even better experience in some ways because we've done so much work. These texts were vital to the restoration of the gospel in its fullness. This volume touches my heart deeply. This latest installment of the Joseph Smith Papers marks the 23rd volume published. It's amazing just stepping on the temple grounds. You get emotional because I, I love this temple sacred and serene, and a spiritual refuge from the harshness of the world. The Mesa, Arizona Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was rededicated after more than three years of extensive renovation. The Mesa Temple holds deep connections to thousands of families that have passed through its doors for nearly a century. The reason why this is special to me is because it's the temple that we were still as a family. Elizabeth recalls selling everything her family owned to make the costly journey from El Salvador to Arizona to be joined together as a family forever. 
Over the years, large groups of Latinos have done the same, made possible by a significant event that took place in 1945 in Mesa, the first temple ceremony offered in Spanish that now enables millions of families to participate in their native languages across the globe. The nearly 75,000 square foot structure is the seventh temple of the church. Its design is a departure from previous temple architecture. The church was coming out of this era of immense persecution and wanted to build temples that fit in with the landscape, that weren't making too bold of a statement. So here in Mesa, they chose a temple without a steeple, without a Moroni, in a colonial revival style. We had to work with historic structures and new structures and blend them together to make them look like they're unified and part of the same system. Updating with more efficient utility systems, especially air conditioning, was at the top of the list. An artist was commissioned to create new murals to completely cover the walls of each instruction room, similar to how they looked in 1927. The new paintings pay homage to the original artists. I became very connected to feeling akin to them. I, I felt a harmony and a resonance with, with their intent. It took painstaking effort and prayer to replicate and match the materials used in the temple. So everything that we had matched exactly what was here in, in the historic time. The bride's room features a crystal chandelier and sconces, walnut millwork, and decorative friezes. The baptistry, its purpose, to help members follow the Savior's commandment that all must be baptized. Here, temple patrons can act on behalf of those who didn't have the opportunity in this life. Unique to the Mesa Temple, above the doorways are scriptural passages that invite introspection as patrons progress through the sacred space. Ceiling rooms where families are joined together for time and eternity. Lustrous crystalline chandeliers highlight a finely appointed celestial room. Exquisitely detailed furnishings and decor designed to uplift the spirit and inspire the soul. We used the finest materials and uh, highest quality processes to build a house of the Lord. Entering the sacred space represents the ultimate progression one can achieve toward heaven itself. The Mesa, Arizona temple with its rich heritage stands majestic and renewed, ready to serve once again as a heavenly refuge to families and the community. We thank all who are working on our new temples. Coming up, we'll take you to the dedications, groundbreakings, and announcements of temples around the world. We're building temples at a faster rate now than ever before in the history of the church. New temples, dedications, and groundbreakings amid global challenges, the work of temple building continues unhindered. We thank all who are working on our new temples. They are being built all over the world. In the October 2021 General Conference, President Russell M. Nelson announced plans to construct 13 new temples around the world. Kaohsiung, Taiwan, Tacloban City, the Philippines, Monrovia, Liberia, Kananga, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Antananarivo, Madagascar, Culiacan, Mexico, Vitoria, Brazil, La Paz, Bolivia, Santiago West, Chile, Fort Worth, Texas, Cody, Wyoming, Rexburg North, Idaho, and Heber Valley, Utah. In addition to new temples announced, several newly completed temples have been dedicated. On October 31st, the Winnipeg Manitoba Temple was dedicated by Elder Garrett W. Gong of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles following a public open house. The temple will now serve nearly 5,000 Latter-day Saints in Manitoba and Northern Ontario. In November, Elders M. Russell Ballard and Neil L. Anderson dedicated the Pocatello, Idaho Temple on the eastern foothills of the city. A temple is a place where sacred 
covenants and ordinances can be performed. We're building temples at a faster rate now than ever before in the history of the church. Ground was broken for the 71,000 square foot temple in the spring of 2019. Now completed, this house of the Lord is the fifth operating temple in the state of Idaho. In December, President Dallin H. Oaks of the First Presidency rededicated the Mesa, Arizona temple following its extensive renovations. The building of multiple temples throughout the world is to prepare the covenant children of the Lord with the strength they need. As well as dedications, since October, ground has been broken for temples in Casper, Wyoming, Pago Pago, American Samoa, and Freetown, Sierra Leone. In addition to new temple construction, pioneer era temples continue to be updated and renovated. The extensive St. George Temple renovation has crossed the two year mark and is now in the home stretch. The West Edition, well underway. The Exterior North Edition is ready for paint. And the completion of walkways, planters, and landscaping are on schedule. One of the main uh, things that we've done in the last year is we finished all the primary upgrades that we needed to do to the historic temple. We were able to get in and now work on all the mechanicals, electrical, and then get into the finished work. Being able to collaborate and to make something this challenging, you know, it's just an honor to be able to work on a house of the Lord. This has been The World Report for The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, April 2022. To watch The World Report online, visit newsroom.churchofjesuschrist.org.